Greg Tepper from Dave Campbell's Texas Football and TexasFootball.com here at, for Texas Football Today at the THSCA Coaching School and Convention in Houston, joined by the head coach of the Georgetown Eagles, Coach Jason Dean. Coach, how are you? Doing fine. How are you? Do I have this right? Is this your 10th season at Georgetown, or is it nine? No, um, I'm actually going to my 13th year um, in Georgetown. I oh. hadn't been head coach that long. Head coach for yep, for, been, uh, for 10 years, is correct. that right? Yep. 10 years? Yep. How, has this, how have you seen this program change in a decade? Because I, I think it's easy to say, oh, well, from you know every program changed from one year to another. But when you take a step back from where you started even 13 years ago when you first got to Georgetown, how is it different than what it is now? Well, you know, first and foremost, our community um, mm -hmm. has changed a bunch. So, um, we've opened a new school um, there in Georgetown. So now we're, we went from being a one-school town to a two-school town. That's always a big transition, mm -hmm. um, you know, for, for a school district. But um, uh, Georgetown's changed a bunch. Um, we're, we're right in the middle of that um, Central Texas uh, population explosion um, that's going on. Um, a lot of people have said that, you know, the Georgetown community and a population over 50,000 is the fastest um, growing community in the United States of America. Um, so it's just, um, you know, really, really um, growing. Um, lots of change, lot, lots of positive change, um, and lots of challenges, you mm -hmm. know, that come with that. So um, it's, it's been really neat to be a part of. You mentioned, you know, the, the new school with Eastview opening up. Uh, how has that made things different? You know, obviously you're cutting, you know, in a lot of respects you're cutting it. Have you, have you felt some sort of shift in the community there, or, or, is, it, uh, or is it kind of all the same, uh, same, you know, same old, same old? Well, no. You know, um, you got um, – I don't know, 1,650 kids, mm -hmm. you know, going to that school. So, um, obviously, th um, there's parts of the community that are loyal, um, you know, to, uh, to that school where they were all all before loyal, loyal to, to Georgetown, um, Georgetown High School specifically before. So uh, that, that's definitely been a big a big shift. Um, but, uh, you know, the one thing that opening Eastview allowed us to do was it dropped us from 6A to 5A. Sure. Or, or, or actually, when that happened, it dropped us from 5A to 4A, <laughs> you know, before, the, before everything changed. Um, so, you know, that was a big um, advantage point um, for us in and, and all sports, not just football. Mm -hmm. um, our girls' basketball team won the state championship um, the next year that happened. Our, our boys' football team went to the state finals. Um, our baseball team has been to the state finals, you know, since then. So um, very competitive, um, you know, in Class 5A um, across the board for all of our sports. Yeah, and, and then the other, the other question that, that I really have is for your 2017 squad, in my view, what sets great Georgetown teams apart is defense. Sure. Is that when you guys have a great defense, that's when things really get rolling. What can you tell us about your defense this year? Cause, you know, that's that's kind of how I'm going to gauge what to think about 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 the Eagles. Well, I will tell you this: we've got three um, returning um, starting linebackers mm -hmm. back. Um, got three secondary kids um, back in the secondary, replacing um, a, a total defensive line. Got one kid that played a bunch there, but wasn't a full time starter um, back in the defensive line. But I, I'll tell you this, Greg: our linebacking crew. Um, maybe the best um, anywhere. Um, got a kid, um, you know, Brandon Hawkins is committed to um, committed to Boise. He's a stud. Um, yep, he, he's a player. <laughs> um, and got, you know, two more guys in there with Andrew Barfield and Kyle Urbanowski that, that started every game last year. Um, both of those kids have been on the varsity since their sophomore year. Um, so the, um, our linebackers, are, are they're really good. If, mm -hmm. we, if we can get a defensive line that's going to tie some people up and, and let those guys run sideline to sideline to make plays, you know, I'm, I'm going to put our defense up there against anybody. And, of course, you guys are, are playing in a tough district uh, year in and year out, even with the drop to 5A. My question is, who at the UIL doesn't like you? <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you think there's some of those guys living in Georgetown. you think they'd be a little friendly. Right, you'd think they'd yeah. be nicer to you, it, you but know, they, they don't do you any favors. No, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a very competitive district. Um, always is, you know, so uh, we'll, we'll have to bring our E-game every week. Mm -hmm. uh, we are sponsored by our friends at Dairy Max, and so I do want to ask you about uh, nutrition – Football is getting so much to be a year-round sport, and you've got to have kids who are prepared, who are who are ready to go every Friday night. What are you trying to, to tell your kids in the off season to keep them ready uh, for when that first Friday night game comes along? Well, you know, I think nutrition is the next forefront of, of what's going to separate um, average programs mm -hmm. um, apart from from great programs. You know, it used to be off season. Um, yeah. It used to be what you did in the off season, and that's not the case anymore. Every single school out there is doing a great job, um, you know, in the off season and, and lifting weights and running the conditioning part and the summer the summer workout programs. You know, no matter if they do it themselves or they, they get the performance course or athletes course to come in and do it for them. Um, you know, every single school is doing that now. Um, but I think the next um, frontier, really for high school football, is going to be that nutrition, you know, mm -hmm. aspect. You know, just getting your guys 
um, to, to realize that the fuel that they're going to put in their body is what they're going to get out of their body. So it's, it's fishing, if, if not already, it's becoming the next, um, next important thing. Coach Jason Dean from Georgetown, he gets to, to have the inaugural spin. This is our new wheel of questions that we are debuting here. Did you get Matt to make that up for uh, you? This is Matt Step. This is a Matt Step joint. I got and you. so if you want to spin the wheel of questions, Coach, we will give you uh, your dumb question that you have to answer for us. All right. I'm really excited to see where this lands. Okay, where do we got? Excellent. What's your pregame tradition? Before, before a game, I know coaches are creatures of habit. Sure. So before, before a game, be it game one or a, or a playoff game, What's your pregame tradition? What do you do to, to make sure you're ready for game day? Well, I, I'm, I'm speaking uh, mainly just for me and not our team, um, <laughs> you know, because I think coaches individually yeah. um, have some pretty um, probably absurd or silly, mm -hmm. you know, things that, that we've got to do. But, um, you know, I've always got a, a, a pregame checklist um, for me. I, I still don't trust myself even after 10 years of being a head coach. I still don't trust myself um, to go into an officials meeting. Um, you know, pregame without having a typed out list, you know, of things that I'm going <laughs> to give officials uh, before the game starts. So that may be one of the silliest things for me. They're all the same questions they are every week, but I'm going to have a typed out list, you know, that I'm going to give to officials um, every single pregame list of things that we're going to cover during our pregame talk. Uh, do you mind telling me maybe one of the things on that list? Uh, you know, um, um, hurdling on extra point field goal. You know, um, and, and <laughs> before, before I was the head coach in 2008, mm -hmm. when Phil Blue was still our head coach, mm -hmm. Um, we, we lost um, a playoff game to Cy Woods. Um, we played at Kyle Field, and, uh, and, and the guy jumped on top of our, our tackle. Um, a great defensive end for Cy Woods jumped on top of our defensive tackle, stood up on top of his back, and blocked the extra point um, that kept us from winning the game. Um, and within, no penalty. And no penalty. You know, so, I mean, that may sound pretty silly, but it's happened no. to me, you know, and I but, don't want it to happen again. But so, so then is your list almost entirely comprised of bad things that have happened yes, maybe, to you? Yes, <laughs> things, things that have went wrong. I want to cover it in pregame to make sure they don't go wrong again. Jason Dean, the head coach of Georgetown Eagles. Coach, appreciate your time. Hey, you bet. Thank you so much for having me.